might say, the AI poison tool to battle against generative AI. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Think Consulting. Today, we are diving deep into analyzing a new artificial intelligence software tool called Nightshade that is stirring up debate regarding AI art and AI art's accompanying copyright issues. This free program called Nightshade allows artists to subtly corrupt AI models trying to train on work that is the artist's work without permission or copyright. Both creators such as artists and tech companies have strong opinions on Nightshade. So let's dive deeper into understanding this rapidly evolving situation. So what exactly is Nightshade and how does it work? Nightshade is a free software application developed by researchers at the University of Chicago's Glaze Project under Professor Ben Zhao. Available for download on the Mac and Windows devices, Nightshade leverages AI algorithms to subtly alter the pixels of digital artwork files. How did we get here, you might want to ask. It all comes down to how AI image generators have been trained. By scraping data from across the web, including scraping original artworks posted by artists who essentially had no prior express knowledge nor the decision-making power about this practice. And say the resulting AI models trained on their work threatens their livelihood by competing with them. AI companies such as OpenAI, Meta, Google, and Stability AI are facing a slew of lawsuits from artists who claim that their copyrighted material and personal information was scraped without consent or compensation. Ben Sao, a professor at the University of Chicago who led the team that created Nightshade, says that the hope is that it will help tip the power balance back from AI companies towards the artists by creating a powerful deterrent against disrespecting the artist's copyright and intellectual property. It's the second such tool from the team. Nearly one year ago, the team unveiled Glaze, a separate program designed to alter digital artwork at a user's behest, essentially to confuse AI training algorithms into thinking the image has a different style than what is actually present, such as different colors or brush strokes that are really there. But whereas the Chicago team designed Glaze to be a defensive tool and still recommends artists use it in addition to Nightshade to prevent an artist's style from being imitated by AI models. Nightshade is designed to be an offensive tool. To the human eye, a Nightshade corrupted image appears unchanged, but AI systems see something totally different in the image. For example, a photo of a cow altered by Nightshade might be perceived by an AI as a large leather handbag instead of a picture of the cow that your eyes are seeing. An AI model that ended up trading on many images altered or shaded with Nightshade would likely erroneously categorize objects going forward for all users of that model, even in images that had not been shaded with nightshade. Early reactions to the nightshade software by using nightshade version 1.0 to shade an image, the image will be transformed into a new version thanks to the open source AI libraries. Ideally, subtly enough so that it doesn't look much different to the human eye but that it appears to contain totally different subject to any AI model training on it. In the short time since its release, Nightshade has already seen a surge of interest and usage from digital artists seeking to fight back against unwanted AI training on their creations. Some artists wasted no time downloading and running pieces through the software, hungry for any method to protect their creativity, time and livelihood. However, some critics argue Nightshade could be considered a dangerous cyber attack tool with the potential to undermine the integrity of AI systems by poisoning them with false data. The Nightshade team, on the other hand, contends that breaking AI models is not their true intention. Rather, they want to deter unauthorized and unethical pirated usage of copyrighted source materials by making it much more difficult and uncertain for the AI to help them in piracy. The end goal is to motivate tech companies to pursue proper licensing agreements with artists rather than continuing questionable data scraping practices. So what are the limitations of Nightshade? Of course, Nightshade has its limitations. It cannot, for example, retroactively undo any AI training completed on artworks prior to them being run through the corrupting software. Nightshade can only affect future attempts to rescrape images after alterations have been made to them. So AI models already trained on scrapped art maintain their current capabilities. There is also the possibility of intentional misuse of the software, such as running AI generated images, lacking any original human creator through Nightshade. Doing so could falsely allow these nefarious companies 
to claim protection over works legally in the public domain or alternatively created by AI systems. Evaluating perspectives around this controversial issue, let's analyze some of the key arguments swirling around Nightshade from different viewpoints. While some artists have rushed to download Nightshade version 1.0 and are already making use of it, among them, Kelly McKernan, one of the former lead artist plaintiffs in the ongoing class action copyright infringement lawsuit against AI art and video generator companies such as Midjourney, Deviant Art, Runway, and Stability AI, some web users have complained about it, suggesting that it is tantamount to a cyber attack on AI models and AI companies. Autumn Beverly, another artist, says tools like Nightshade and Glaze have given her the confidence to post her work online again. She previously removed it from the internet after discovering it had been scraped without her consent into the popular image databases. Arguments in favor of Nightshade include upholding artists' moral rights to control use of their creative works, holding tech companies more accountable for questionable data scraping practices, motivating a shift to properly license data, for improved transparency, allowing artists some method to fight back against pirated AI systems threatening their careers and livelihoods. Arguments against the utilization of Nightshade include potential to pollute integrity of AI systems by training them with deliberately falsified data, limited ability to combat AI models already trained using previously scrapped artwork, possibility for intentional misuse over public domain or AI-generated content insertion of more adversarial friction into the AI art debate. As we weigh these perspectives, this controversy underscores the need to balance interests of both original artists and AI innovators. With the speed we see generative AI moving forward, these questions have to be debated and a path forward has to be forged. There are still open questions surrounding legal rights and ethical practices when it comes to data usage that requires our urgent attention with a calm and thoughtful discourse to find solutions that this unique and groundbreaking technology presents to us. Talk about brewing data tensions. Nightshade highlights underlying strains while it remains an imperfect solution with a number of potential issues. As I've highlighted earlier, the emergence of Nightshade presents artists with a way to forcefully assert control in response to the unsavory AI development practices which they view as an ex existential threat to their careers. They feel unheard and left with few alternatives to protect their livelihoods in this AI world that we live in today. If legislation, licenses, and robo-readable policies have evolved to catch up to AI's capabilities sooner then tools like Nightshade designed to poison generative AI systems may not have manifested out of desperation. But our current data and copyright laws fail to provide adequate guidance on acceptable usage as AI blind spots are exposed. Until updated regulations, policies, and responsible oversight are established, we can expect to see more friction and homebrewed solutions like Nightshade. As victims try whatever they can, to reclaim some leverage even by fighting fire with fire. These visible tensions make clear the widespread impact of generative AI and the uncomfortable trade-offs arising around data control that we have yet to reconcile. The way forward, seeking answers together. What pharmacological cure might treat this societal headache before it worsens? Constructive dialogue rooted in empathy, ethics, law, and sound AI practices. Tech companies must better respect artists' rights and domain expertise in developing solutions. Meanwhile, creators must strengthen their digital literacy around new tools reshaping their trade to best protect their content. There are still more questions than answers, but through open and thoughtful discussion, we inch closer to a more ethical equilibrium where both human and machine creativity mutually thrive. Progress lies not in further polarization, but unified commitment to illuminating answers obscured in the fog of uncertainty. The capabilities of Nightshade reveal rifts needing remedy. Our policies and perspectives demand evolutions to channel AI for good. What potential cures or harm reduction methods do you see feasible? I welcome your insights in the comments to keep this important conversation moving ahead. And until next time, this is Think Consulting.